out. Let's see if we can't find us a gobbler. Looks like a bunch of really old scratch up in here. Still haven't seen any fresh scratch, but I just got into a bunch of old scratch in this creek bottom. Look on Onyx, there is a field up that way. It's private property, but we can hunt all the woods and I can get, get eyes on the field, see if there's anything out there right now. It's washed out, but it looks like a gobbler track. Okay, seeing some turkey sign. A little bit here and there. I've just seen three turds in a row, so they're and they're fresh. So there's a flock of turkeys in here somewhere. I don't know if it's just hens or we got a hand up gobbler, I have no idea. It's a long beard, isn't it? Oh yeah. Oh, there's his hens. Is that hens? They're looking at me. Oh, they're Jake's. That's a Jake. That's another Jake. Jake's are looking at me. Where did a long beard go? There he is. He's walking away. Dang it. Oh, the Jake's putting. Dang it. Jake's kind of spooked. Oh, long beard just went. Those jakes are coming back down. They're dumb. We need to, we need to crawl over uh, or just lay down. Look at those jakes coming right down the hill. go the easy way because they'll see me. I think the hen's in the field or something else is in the field still. The gobbler chased the jakes off into the cedars. So these birds are on private property but all the fresh droppings I found were on public so they're spending some time in the woods at some point. Assuming he's hand up. There's two jakes. It's probably a whole flock of them. There's the field. Pretty sure this gobbler's not going to leave his group, but I'm going to sit down here and call. sitting here 
for at least 45 minutes just listening. That bird hasn't gobbled or anything. We're not going to start off here in the morning, but we're going to start off back by the boat on top of the hill so we can hear this bird and we can hear any other birds around so I get ears on as much ground as possible. So that's what we'll do in the morning. I've heard three or four distant birds. five birds none of them are close yeah there's one straight out towards the sunrise if you get on onyx tap your location it takes you to your location tap it again and it'll turn on the compass so you can point your phone at a bird and tell general direction he's gonna be yeah the one out that way is probably roosted on the property line He's probably going to fly down to private, but he's, he's close enough. I, if he's willing, I could call him in. All right, we're going to try our luck on one of these birds. We're going to try our luck on all of them if we have to. way out there. I don't know if that's the one we're after or not. I think the one we're after is closer, but I'm not sure. I did hear two out this way and one was a lot further. I thought I heard one gobble that way, but I just heard one gobble that way for sure. Maybe two different birds. I'm definitely going to try to go after this one. We got more land. Sounds kind of promising. She's going to be quiet now. I'll sit here for a minute and listen before I go any further. scratch in here. Scratch right here. Right, we'll sit on this little bench here and call and just hang tight for a while. And if y'all want to get a uh, limited run Catman Crystal call, they're made by 
spring fever and I'll put a link down below if you want to get one while they last. He just gobbled. He's across the property line. He's probably 100, 120, 130 yards out. I don't know if he got hens or not, but we're going to try to do something with him here. Yeah, this is good. Good cover here. He just gobbled a lot closer. They came in hard right. I thought I could swing on them because there's a berm. His little head popped up. Golly. Dang, he worked in perfect too. Dang it. Let's go try to find another one. I was just sitting eating lunch at the boat and a bird gobbled three or four times right across the cove. Gobbled at a crow, but he's not far. 